Revelation 9, 1, an angel descended with a key to the bottomless pit. And he unlocked and opened up that bottomless pit and smoke came out and covered the earth. Locusts came out of the smoke. So it seems to me that if you're concerned about that burning inferno where some, I'm so sorry to say, some of my relatives are. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. None of my immediate family because there's only one little boy and my little boy, my little brother died at two. And of course, the grace of God takes care of babes, little innocent children. My little boy died when he was two days old. He's in paradise. But when I say my relatives, I'm not talking about my immediate family. But some of my relatives, some of my cousins, my uncles, they died without God. And they're in hell. And I have some more that'll go if they don't get saved. Because I have some relatives that drink and gamble and lie and cheat. And if you don't have some relatives that are lost, you are most fortunate, my friend. You're most fortunate. And you ought to praise God to the highest heaven. Amen. Amen. Now, the next thing I want to say is this. If you are so unfortunate as to die and go to hell, if you open your eyes in hell as the rich man did, the beggar died and was carried by the angels to Abram's bosom, the rich man also died, and in hell he lifted up his eyes. And if you die, and if you lift up your eyes in hell, the first thing you're going to discover, and discover it in a real, real way, is that God did not intend for you to go there, and you're going to find out that you're not wanted down there. They don't want you in hell. They don't want you in hell. I said they don't want you in hell. And I don't want to be anywhere I'm not wanted.